You know, we've all been watching for months as Governor Rick Snyder blamed government bureaucrats for the Flint water crisis. Should it be easier to fire them? That can only happen with reforming civil service protection. And someone on the other side are saying a new proposal goes way too far. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner has much more now from Lansing. Civil service protection was put into the state constitution decades ago to protect against political cronyism. State officials can't be broomed out when new elected officials come in. Some say this reform is needed to streamline accountability. Others say it's just a power grab. There has to be some accountability to provide that level of service. And to the extent that it doesn't exist, this will provide a, a pathway. The House Speaker says this was in the works before the Flint water crisis, but that is a good example. Two State Department of Environmental Quality staffers have been charged with tampering with evidence, conspiracy, and misconduct in office for their role in the crisis. Because of their civil service protection, they could only be suspended without pay for five days, then go back on paid leave until charged. They want to make scapegoats out of low-level state workers to distract from the blame that really rests with the governor's office. The proposed change Changes would allow removal from the job without pay, and supporters say, still with fairness, a quicker due process within a month. We don't want to be putting something forward here where someone thinks, oh my gosh, they're out to get me. Um, we're laying out a very clear grievance process. The Ask Me Union represents 7,000 state employees, and they say this is a power grab. This says, let's have the governor be able to choose. Uh, uh, who to fire and who not to fire. The Speaker's party controls the House, the Senate, and the Governor's office, and the only solution he has to Michigan's problems is the one thing he can't get done. This has a long way to go to get passed. It would need two-thirds yes votes in both the House and the Senate, and a yes vote by the public because this would amend the state constitution. In Lansing, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thanks a lot, Jim.